Hello, my crafty friends, and welcome back to another segment of my Creating Cards in 10 Minutes. I'm using the October 2021 Cheat Load Sketch from Call Me Crafty Al. This is inspired by Creative Chelsea. And where we left off was I have torn the papers and I was trying to emboss and it wasn't working out. And then I realized what happened. The folder itself is thick. It's a 3D folder, so it's going to be thicker. So I could do away with one of the shims. In this case, I'm just using one of the plastic or the acrylic sheets instead of both of them. I put it on the platform, then I put the paper in here, and I cover it up with the top acrylic sheet, and that's all I need. But, so I did one, and this is what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? And I went ahead and pre-measured, or just kind of eyeballed it and looked at it and said, I think that looks pretty good so when we make the card fronts. So, and then I added something else that we will be putting on also. This is washi tape that I bought a couple, three years ago. And I'm going to be doing that instead of this little paper ribbon here. Okay. So let's get started. Again, like I said, I'm going to speed up the embossing part, but the timer is going to be running. So 10 minutes on the clock. <laughs> Okay, I found out that I can actually do two at a time and it doesn't change the look any. I think that's pretty cool. You could definitely hear there was a little bit of increased pressure. So I was careful, but it turned out really well. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start assembling the front of the card. I found out, much to my surprise, that I have plenty of that Tombow Snail Runner. It's hilarious, actually. Well, that one's too big, isn't it? Okay, we're going to have to tear this one. I did not go through and check them all. Like I said, it's very inconsistent in sizes. So let's do that. And there we go. That's fine. Anyway. And I need another one now. Ha, how about that? This is Caesar glue for now. I did not get another one ready, which I should have. But I have three packages <laughs> of these Tombow runners. I'm like, I could not believe it. I'm like, really? I wasn't paying attention, was I? <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Oh. We're down to just under four minutes. So I have plenty of that snail runner. And I will make sure to have it ready next time. Yep. One side's going to obviously be smaller than the other. But yeah. Long, you can, as you can see, a little bit of that chevron pattern. like so. This is the case, this is a case in point. So imperfection is actually a good thing. There's a little bit of wiggle room, thank goodness. Okay, good. Don't have to do anything with that one. Because this set is making 10 and I'm adding some extra decorations and stuff, it's going to take maybe an extra video or two, but if you don't mind, I don't mind. Little doctoring doesn't hurt. There we go. Oh, there we go. Boy, that thing scares me every time. I have it sitting up on my phone stand, and of course, it's metal. So it rattles, <laughs> just scares me. Okay, so we have one, two, three. We have five done. We got we got these embossed, and we got five sets of pattern paper put on. So we're halfway through. All right. Make sure to join me next time, and we will finish putting the card fronts together. See you next time. Bye-bye.